Alright brodies, for the longest time I've always recommended pretty much all the mechanical keyboards from the brand Nufi. And that is because of the good combination of quality, features, and price. Even at this moment, I still feel like the Nufi Air 60 and Air 75 is the best low-profile mechanical keyboard out in the market. After that, they released the Nufi Halo 65, which offers a completely different form factor and set of features compared to the Air series with standard mechanical keyboard switches and keycaps. And finally, we have the Nufi Halo 75, which at first I thought is just a simple upscale of the form factor from 65% to 75%. But little did I know that it has a few simple yet impactful updates, most notably the better overall sound and feel out of the box, thanks to the so-called ghost bar which is a very unique implementation for dampening the sound of the spacebar. It's not perfect though, there are a couple of things that a lot of early adapters got confused with. Here, let me help you figure out those things aside from giving you my full review. Let's get into it. The unboxing experience, while not completely identical, is pretty much the same as the Halo 65 with an image preview in front, some key features around the box, the familiar anime image at the back, and the package contents. It still features a sliding outer packaging, and upon opening the box, the first thing that will greet you is the user manual. Then we have the Halo 75 itself, the accessory kit that we'll take a look at in a second, and another paperwork. So we have a Q&A paperwork here written in two languages. We also have a set of stickers and a user manual which is where most of the confusion came from. More on that later. And at the back, we have the anime poster. Now right here, we have the accessory kit with a bunch of items. We have some sample switches here, an extra accent keycap including the modifiers for Windows OS, and a braided USB Type-C cable. We also have a plastic keyboard cover here which is definitely a plus. As for the Nufi Halo 75 itself, it looks and feels quite familiar to the Nufi Halo 65 with the only difference being the bigger and heavier 75% form factor. Well, at least on the surface. It weighs around 1.2 kilograms and doesn't flex much unless you put an unusual amount of force. Again, it features a 75% form factor, which means aside from the extra nav cluster keys here on the right side and the dedicated arrow keys, we also have a complete function row up top. The layout of the alphanumeric keys is basically the same, with a couple of keys missing here to accommodate this layout. The bezels looks pretty much the same, with the same single LED indicator here on the upper left corner, and a debossed Nufi logo here at the upper right corner. Flipping it on the front side, we still have the same design and construction, featuring a two-material chassis. We have an aluminum top cover and plastic bottom case, with the same grooves based on the ionic columns in ancient Greece. In between those two materials, we have an RGB lining that goes all around the keyboard. As you can tell, the Nufi Halo 75, like the Halo 65, features a high-profile case, which means the switches are completely hidden from sight. As for the keycaps, we still have Nufi's own KOP Double Shot PBT keycaps. More on that later as well. Flipping it on the back side, we have the switches and ports here as well as the compartment for the USB dongle. Here we have a dedicated switch for Windows and Mac OS, which is not present on the Halo 65. We have the switch for the tri-mode connectivity and the USB Type-C port for wired connection. On the other side, we have the magnetic USB dongle for the 2.4GHz connectivity option. Now looking at the bottom, we have 4 rubber feet and 2 flip-out stands, both of which have extra shorter stands also with rubber tips. We also have a chrome badge here with some technical details and certifications and a Nufi logo above it. Overall, at least from the surface, the Nufi Halo 75 looks and feels almost the same as the Halo 65, again, except for the layout and form factor. Now, I won't be taking apart this keyboard in this video since I was able to verify from Nufi that the construction and components inside the Halo 75 are just the same as the Halo 65. So instead of repeating the teardown experience, you can just watch my teardown video of the Halo 65 and skip to the 950 minute mark. I'm just going to focus more on the features and functionalities of this keyboard and the things that matter the most. Now in terms of the keycaps, we still have Nufi's own KOP profile double shot PBT keycaps which feature a flat surface with rounder corners in a familiar height similar to the OEM profile. With PBT plastic and double shot molding, the legends are essentially permanent and will not easily shine over time. The thickness of the keycap is also fairly decent, around 1.3mm. The fonts for the most part are clean, and since this keyboard also supports Mac OS, we have some Mac OS shortcuts here in the function rows. As for the switches, we have something new here. Nufi recently released two switches, the Night Breeze which is what we have here, and the Rose Glacier. The Night Breeze is linear, while the Rose Glacier is tactile. I'll discuss more about these switches later. 
Unfortunately, and this might be a deal breaker for some, the new Fi Halo 75 still uses north facing sockets which is kind of a bummer. The good thing here is that the Night Breeze switch features a long pole stem so no issues here when it comes to interference should you choose to use cherry profile keycaps. For those who are not yet familiar, using short pole switches with cherry profile keycaps on a north facing socket will result in interference or unwanted plastic to plastic contact between the keycap and the switch housing. You can avoid that by using long pole switches or other keycap profiles. As for the stabilizers, I noticed that while they look similar to the teal stabilizers of the Halo 65 and are also pre-lubed out of the factory, they sound and feel entirely different and significantly better. They feel more stable and muted compared to its predecessor. We also have the familiar silicon dampener here under the spacebar. Speaking of the spacebar, probably one of the most notable updates here is the so-called ghost bar. And as far as I know, this is now also available for the Halo 65. The ghost bar features a unique design for dampening the unwanted sound coming from the space bar by adding a silicon sound absorber, polycarbonate connectors, and a differently shaped cross stem chamber. With this, the space bar now sounds cleaner, tighter, and more stable while maintaining the standard response and bounce back feedback. Simply put, sound dampened without getting mushy. As simple as it is, the effect it provides on the space bar is quite significant. Here, let me share with you a quick sound test. Now let's talk more about the switches here so that you can get an idea of what to choose. In terms of the switches, the new Fi Halo 75 is available with Gateron G Pro Brown 2.0, G Pro Red 2.0, Baby Kangaroo, Baby Raccoon, and the latest Night Breeze and Rose Glacier. While it's not available on the option, we have a Gateron Blue here which is clicky and tactile. Now part of the option is the Gateron G Pro Red 2.0 which is lightweight and linear, and the Gateron G Pro Brown 2.0 which is tactile both of which are significantly improved for both sound and feel compared to their predecessors. We also have the Baby Raccoon, which is one of the few recent switches from Nufi and Gateron. It is linear and features a long pole stem, PA66 housings, and is pre-lubed out of the factory. I'd say it's super smooth with a high-pitched sound signature. We also have the Baby Kangaroo, which is what I have on my Nufi Halo 65. This one is tactile and features a long pole stem, a two-stage spring, and is also pre-lubed out of the factory. The tactile feedback is comparable to other non-mainstream tactile switches like the Koala, Everglide Violet, and Glorious Panda rather than the typical brown switches. Now moving into the latest offering, we have the Nufi Rose Glacier which is tactile and features long pole stems made out of polyketone plastic. It also has a 21mm spring and is also pre-lubed out of the factory. The sound signature is a little deeper than the Baby Kangaroo and is also not pingy. We also have the Nufi Night Breeze which is what we have here in the Halo 75. It is linear and features the same characteristics as the Rose Glacier. Both are really smooth out of the box and feature a deep and clean sound signature. Now let's move on to probably the most important part of this video and that is the features and functions and how the early adapters including me got confused with the wrong details in the user manual. <laughs> the Halo 75 like pretty much all the mechanical keyboards from Nufi features time mode connectivity with Bluetooth, 2.4GHz and wired mode. The difference with the Halo 75 is that it has a dedicated switch for changing between Windows and Mac OS. Now the first thing that got the early adapters of the Halo 75 confused is how to pair it via Bluetooth and 2.4GHz. As per the user manual, you need to press Fn plus Q, W, E and R. But as per my research and testing, it should be Fn plus 1, 2, 3 and 4. And honestly, it took me a few hours to find the solution. I also suggest you check the new Fi Discord channel for valuable information and updates like this because a lot is going on there that I can possibly tackle in this video. Another thing is that as of the moment, there's no software available for Mac OS and the latest Nufi console 1.0.2 has been taken down from their website due to bugs. Again, I suggest you check their Discord channel for the latest updates. Now, another confusing thing is for switching the functionality of the function rows between shortcuts and the regular functions. It's not even stated in the included user manual. It is stated on the downloadable updated manual, but unfortunately, it doesn't work until you update your firmware, which you can't if you're in macOS. 
you need to have a Windows PC and update your firmware there. I'm on Mac OS now, so that's quite unfortunate. There is a setting in Mac OS Ventura to switch the function of the function keys. However, once you turn it on, the secondary functions doesn't work even if you use it in combination with the F and key. So yeah, the function rows are kind of a messed up right now if you're using Mac OS. Other than that, all the other features and functionality seems to work fine. I hope Nufi can finally sort this out for us Mac users, especially the fact that the primary legend of the KOP keycaps is for Mac OS. Speaking of features and functionalities, the LED notification on the upper left corner shows different colors depending on the current battery level, when it's charging, when you toggle the caps lock and windows key lock, and shows different colors depending on which connectivity mode you are currently in, as well as the OS. In terms of the lighting effects, we have dedicated modes for the alphanumeric keys which I'll just breeze through here. As you can tell, even though we're not using shine through keycaps, the illumination is still ample enough to provide some guidance in a completely dim environment like this. Of course, we have single color options, brightness, and animation speed adjustments. We can also adjust the lighting effects, colors, and brightness of the halo light around the keyboard, or turn them off altogether to save battery. Not only that, you can even adjust the lighting effects and color of the LED indicator in the upper left corner. My only issue here is that we are limited by the onboard options since we don't have access to the Nufi console. If you're wondering, yes, the two-tone grease rest of the Halo 65 perfectly fits the Halo 75 with a nice and smooth halo light effect. If anything, I would like to see a larger or brighter front lighting in the next iteration of this keyboard so that the effect is more pronounced than what it is right now. Now let's take a quick look at the Halo 75 and Halo 65 side by side so that you can have a visual comparison just in case you're curious about their physical differences. As you can tell, aside from the color variant and the form factor, they look the same looking from the top. But flipping them on their backside, you'll see that the Halo 75 has an additional switch for the operating systems and that the cavity for the USB dongle has been moved to the corner which I think looks nicer than the Halo 65. Other than that, the sides and bottom are pretty much identical. Both keyboards feature the double shot PPT KOP keycaps and both use north facing hot swappable sockets but are different in terms of the color of the plate and the switch pads. Both use steel plate which is where most of their weight came from. And lastly, at least for the keyboards that I have here, the Halo 75 has the new ghost bar. Although like I said earlier, the new batches of the Halo 65 will also come with a ghost bar. In terms of performance, all modes including the wireless 2.4GHz and Bluetooth connectivity supports full NKRO which means you can press as many keys as you want at the same time without any conflicts. Good for fast typists and games that requires multiple key presses or fast simultaneous activations at the same time. I also didn't encounter any noticeable issues when it comes to wireless stability and input lag even on Bluetooth. Now before I give you my final thoughts, here's a full version of the sound test.
Overall, if you're contemplating on getting the Hero 65 before but wanted a bigger 75% form factor with function rows, the Hero 75 is a better overall option with improved stabilizers and an innovative ghost bar design. Everything else is pretty much the same. However, if you're on Mac OS and Mac OS only, you might want to hold off for now until Nufi finally sorts out the Nufi console support for Mac OS, not only for the important firmware update but for the overall customization and get everything you deserve for your money. But for what it is right now, the Halo 75 is still one of the better options out in the market for a unique 75% wireless mechanical keyboard with a good combination of distinct design, a unique set of materials used, and an arsenal of features and functionalities, not to mention pretty good sound and feel out of the box without the need of further modifications. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching, huge thanks to Nufi for sending this in, you can get this using the link below. I'll also put the link to their Discord channel should you require more information. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you appreciate this video, and see you next time. Have a great day guys, you're always awesome. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.